Hello, I'm Priscilla. Hi, this is Nancy. So today we want to share a brief presentation video with you guys. So what are we celebrating this month, Miss Priscilla? On March 31st, we remember and celebrate Cesar Chavez. Yes, so stick with us so you can learn more about why it's important to remember about historical figures who change our lives. So what's our agenda, Ms. Priscilla? We're going to go over the literacy benefits in learning historical figures and diving into who was Cesar Chavez. Let's dive in. Children appreciate history to a greater degree when they learn it early. So just as learning about your ancestors, culture, or heritage is important, learning about people who are different from themselves different cultures is important so your child can relate to people who are different from themselves. Um, they will more likely grow up to be compassionate, socially aware, and tolerant. Besides this, learning about historical figures and celebrating holidays that honor people who have made an impact has literacy benefits. When we learn about historical figures, we can accurately describe history. Students also learn how our past has relevance to today and is an opportunity for students to read, write critically, and be a part of meaningful discussions that empower students to understand their world. By learning about historical figures, students also learn concepts of change, time, cause and effect. Learning about history by considering what was life back then also has literacy practices that involve reading, writing, thinking, and speaking skills. Students also learn how to build critical literacy skills when they ask questions and draw conclusions. So, who, who was Cesar Chavez? Cesar Chavez was a Mexican-American leader and civil rights activist. Born on March 31, 1927 in Arizona. Cesar's family became migrant workers. They moved from farm to farm in California looking for work. All the family members had to work, even Cesar Chavez. At a very, very young age, he worked in all sorts of different fields from grapes to feet. The days were very long and the work was hard. Despite working so hard, the family struggled to meet their basic needs like food. Cesar, like many other Chicanos, attended 30 different elementary schools and middle schools. The working conditions at the field for Cesar and his family were horrible. Yes, Mr. Sila, imagine working in the hot sun 15 hours a day, every day, earning a dollar an hour or less. The farmers had to work long hours with no breaks, there weren't any bathrooms for them, and they didn't even have clean water to drink. Life was very hard and they were not treated fairly. Cesar read a lot and was influenced by a number of other leaders, including Martin Luther King, he wanted to help the field workers of California and he thought he could do it in a peaceful manner. He believed peaceful protest could bring change. So, Ms. Nancy, who was Dolores Huerta? So, Dolores Huerta was one of the people who supported Cesar Chavez. Um, she co-founded the National Farm Association along Cesar Chavez. Her skills in influencing and negotiating help get disability insurance for farm workers. She became an inspiration to many women and girls around the world because she was the key for many successful boycotts. In 1962, Cesar Chavez quit his job to start a labor union of farm workers. What is a labor union, Ms. Pris? It is a group of workers who come together to protect their working rights. Mm -hmm. He formed the National Farm Workers Association. The union wanted the farm workers to have a better life. Cesar Chavez also began marches, speeches, and even strikes. Ms. Nancy, can you explain what is a strike? Yes, of course. So, 
A strike is when workers refuse to work until something changes. They would also march one day from Delano to Sacramento. That's like four hours away. They would also fast, meaning they wouldn't eat at all, since it was this was like the best way to protest in a non-violent way. So we've come to the end of our video. We want to remind you that Cesar Chavez is recognized today as an American hero for leading a non-violent movement. He made an impact in improving the working conditions of farm workers in the fields, helped organize the workers to vote, and further their education. Through the union, he helped establish working contracts that required workers to have resting periods and clean water. He fought for farm workers' rights and believed that if, if everyone we worked, worked together, together they, they could, could be, be treated, treated more fairly. fairly. For many, Cesar Chavez symbolizes hope. Today, we continue to recognize Chavez as an American hero on March 31st. We appreciate you for staying with us through this video. We hope you learned something new today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.